What is up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and today we're going to be building a White Strike Esper. So I'm super excited to start building my Esper today. I've not had the opportunity to use one of these yet, and I just think they're a really cool new design from Captain Slug. And of course, we are doing it in the White Strike color scheme. So that is pretty darn cool. I love how my last caliber turned out, and I'm excited to see how this one's going to turn out. So. I have all the parts printed out here. I have my hardware kit ready to go. And let's get this thing started. So before we do that, I just wanted to let you guys know if you're worried that I'm going to only be making 3D printed blasters on this channel from now on, that is not the case. It is just because it's super cold outside in Indiana and I cannot paint probably three or four projects I've got started already. So we'll go ahead and clear some space and get this thing going. All right, you guys, the White Strike Esper is complete and it sure does look awesome. I love this color scheme. I probably will switch it up here pretty soon. And this may be the last one for a while in this color scheme and especially since I cannot get this gray anymore, uh, but hopefully that will come back in stock soon. But nevertheless, love how this turned out and cannot wait to fire it off. I will probably be adding some nameplates at some point and then hopefully some nice grip up here that you can just really grab a hold of. Hopefully Slug will come up with something that's fit your grip or somebody will I think that would be really nice just so it makes it really easy to prime but we are going to put some shots over the chronograph with this thing we got a Talon magazine and a Katana because this accepts both and if you are not aware the Esper is obviously powered by three cords or strings so it is a stringer not a springer so that's pretty cool and different would love to see someone create some bow arms for this thing because I think that would be pretty darn cool too but nevertheless let's go ahead and put some shots over the chronograph i'm glad things are starting to warm up really got to commit to that prime we'll start out with the talon mag i love the way those look and the way it shows the dart 
through that pet g is awesome that is really nice to have so you can see that you have a dart loaded there so that's pretty cool let's go ahead and see how she does 122 119 113 these worker darts are not brand new so the readings could be a tad low because of that 118 121 119 we'll go ahead and switch out to a katana Duplet 119 117 122 121 so solid 120 I'm sure these cords could be tightened up a little bit to make it a little bit stronger obviously the tighter the cords the harder it's gonna shoot the uh, seal I might try to put the uh, o-ring seal in there and see if that will help out things a little bit uh, but yeah a lot of things could contribute to higher or l less performance but you know getting 150 out of this thing is probably about the max you're going to get i mean it's not meant to be like a super high powered blaster it's more made for those players that like to play fast and and tactically uh, would be an awesome blaster especially in an indoor environment where there's a lot of cover all right you guys went ahead and tightened up the strings a little bit more and i went ahead and installed the o-ring seal pusher so we should be getting a little bit better performance, so let's see if we are. Woo, that's some good range, 151. That's what I'm talking about. 144. 143. 142. 46, 138, 141, 144, 146, 143, whoa. Really gotta commit to that prime or you will double feed. 147. 143. 127 that was a little weird. All the other ones did much better than that in the 140s and even 150 there with that one so pretty darn good performance if you tune this thing correctly i think you're able to get right around that 150 mark so that's pretty awesome and yeah i'm pretty happy with this just need to work on getting uh, some string guards here and a nameplate or something maybe putting my name on there that'd be cool to get my logo on there somehow and then working on that grip that would be nice too but uh when i do those additions i will definitely post pictures on my facebook page and uh thank you guys so much for watching Please smash that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, ring the bell for notifications, and as always guys, peace out.